welcome to physics in mind guys today we are going to see how we can run and execute a fortran program in android phone fortran is an useful subject for physics and math also you can execute a fortran program efficiently with an online compiler first you need to open a browser here i am using chrome online compilers are easy to handle and you can save projects also just type my compilers and wait for the first web page to open now choose the first link available on the top this is the basic interface of this web page just scroll down and here you can see fortran just click it okay here program hello world is given in the fortran syntax if i run it by clicking the green button then you can see the desired output let us try to write a new program by deleting this context okay uh, so i just uh, going for a simple program just uh, as uh, add two numbers so i am defining sum as integer then the print statement for enter the numbers enter a and b the number will be entered by the user then the input statement read a and b now sum is equal to a plus b okay then print uh, you have to print the sum print sum uh, then uh, stop and uh, end okay it is a bad practice as i never uh, write uh, the comment line first so now i am writing the comment line uh, program to add two numbers okay and now if i run this uh, by clicking the green button upside then you can see a large number of errors come out in the output terminal so what is saying come back to the program here you can see no mistakes are there i am also scared that why this compiler is showing so much error at the first time but then i can understand by reading these instructions so it is highlighting the line 4 of our program so line 4 is uh, the read statement of a and b fortran runtime error end of file if you uh, look at the uh, downside then you can see the enter ab statement is printed here which i uh, give as the first statement for in my program so so actually this program is terminated because we uh, doesn't uh, provide this program any input means uh, a and b so the program is stopped after printing enter a and b so now we are going to give this program some inputs uh, through the input tab which is right in the middle of the uh, program tab and the output tab as i click in the middle then you can see first line is blank now click it and i am giving 43 as the first input first number a and then 45 as the second number now if i click the run button then you can see the desired output that is 88 here i am entering a comma you can uh, give these two numbers in two consecutive lines also then also the program will be run as normal and no error will be printed here this device doesn't provide any console interface now we are going to add the title of the program that is uh, some if you, you can add anything then the blue button which is for saving the program if i click it then it will give you three options you can share it also and download it also i am just downloaded it it is main f.95 now if i will open the file you can see it is in the download folder yeah that is the f main 8 f95 if i open it in documents form and you need to or install the wps office because it is very useful to open this type of file just click pdf now in the wps office it is open in the text form and i am saving it with in my phone storage 
now i am typing a name let us try type uh, sum for instance now saving okay save from here also you can copy the program and paste in your compiler and you can do it with is i recommend you to uh, use uh, a physical keyboard because it is a uh, very uh, simple to use a physical keyboard with and uh, copy and pasting these uh, programs so now getting back to the browser our uh, next website is online gdb compiler so you should uh, type online gdb compiler and you the web page will open in this format so choose the first link which is online gdb and wait for the web page to open okay it's open uh, now this is the basic format of this online gdb compiler website so first click the uh, new project and then you can choose uh, what language you will prefer for coding so here i am choosing here fortran so as you can see the uh, hello world program is printed in the fortran syntax so i am removing it for doing my programs as previous uh, we are doing that uh, program to find the sum of two numbers so let's uh, first typing the command line program to find sum then I am defining that integer then as I said before I am just writing it just a minute sum equal to a plus b then print i am printing the sum stop and end okay now if i click the run button upside then it will compile the program and this website provide you a interactive console now i am entering the numbers two numbers i have entered and the desired output is given in the output console so if you press here from enter then the output console will be removed now you come back to the program let's copy it and you can paste it anywhere i always paste it in my keep notes or notepad which is very easy and uh, as i am using the physical keyboard so it is very easy to copy and paste for output you can copy the output by clicking the clipboard button which is left aside of the input tab now if i paste it though the output is copied let me tell you uh, a problem i have noticed if i just uh, unplug my physical keyboard and typing start typing with my uh, phone keyboard that is what let me unplug the physical keyboard yeah now my cursor is uh, let, uh, behind the sum so if I here press enter then M will be deleted this is very this is uh, very annoying you can avoid this mistake uh, by uh, adding a space after the lib keyword you typed so I just typed uh, sum then end space then I press enter so there nothing will happen I also always prefer to use a physical keyboard. I am recommending you that also. If you use a physical keyboard then programming will be easy because we have to type a various keywords at a time. And this website also doesn't perform well in case of your phone keyboard. So and one more thing if you want to just if you uh, want to just leave the site then always choose cancel because as it is not saving the program so always choose cancel otherwise your programming or your typing keywords will be removed and uh, i am prefer i when i code uh, this program so always i am frequently 
I just uh, copied uh, the whole keyword by pressing Ctrl and A and uh, Ctrl C to my notepad that to avoid the typing mistakes and also uh, the this is my notepad here keep notes here I am using the realme 7i device okay then goodbye stay tuned for the next video don't forget to subscribe